Hey, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a grocery haul for you. I did Walmart grocery pickup and then I ran into Aldi for a few items. So I'll show you what I got from Walmart and then Aldi and then I'll show you our meal plan for the upcoming week. Now at Walmart, I spent $138.08, but I did participate in the Ibotta free Thanksgiving dinner uh, giveaway. So I got $25.93 back. So I only ended up spending maybe about $110 at Walmart. Now, if you're not familiar with Ibotta, it's basically a website and an app that you can download and sign up uh, with an account. It's free. And they have grocery stores, online retailers, and you can go through their different offers. And if you make a purchase, you know, for one of those offers, you get money credited to your account. Once you hit, I think, $20, you can either transfer that money to your bank account or you can request a gift card. So, you know, it's free. I mean, they probably data mine. Obviously, they have to make money some way, but it's pretty cool. I've used it for a couple years. I don't use it a lot. Um, I just go through it and if there's stuff that, you know, I'm kind of already planning on buying, I'll do that. And I think I've gotten like about $100 so far. I do have a referral link. It's always listed in my description box below. You, of course, do not feel obligated whatsoever to use my referral link. I think if you do use it, I want to say like we both get either $5 or something like that um, the first time. But again, totally don't feel obligated to use my referral link. But if you'd like to check it out, you can check the description box below or just go to their website or download the app. Um, this free Thanksgiving dinner, I did it last year and I was really excited to see it again this year. I'll show you the items that are on that. This is a really great way. If you're tight on funds, this is a great way. You know, you do have to obviously have the money to buy the items, but you do get the money back. If though, you know, you are blessed this Thanksgiving that you don't really necessarily quote unquote need these items, this is a great way to purchase the items and, you know, donate them to a food bank, especially if maybe you're kind of tight on funds and you still want to help. This is a great way to do that, but it is limited. They only do so many of these offers. So if you are interested in doing it, um, you know, you might want to do it soon. So let me show you what I got real quick. So first I'll start with the free Thanksgiving dinner items. So one of the, them is a frozen turkey. There's different brands. Um, they were out of stock on these smaller turkeys. So as you can see, this turkey was $23 and the turkey is up to $15. So I got 15 back towards that. I, like I said, I'd asked for a smaller turkey, but they were out of stock and substituted it with that, which is fine. You can get a two liter of a Coca-Cola product. So I just did Coca-Cola. You can get a great value stuffing mix. So I just chose the turkey. Great value French fried onions. And then their offer was for a great value cranberry sauce, but they had already, um, I guess used up that offer. So I just went ahead and got a whole cranberry sauce. I, I did pay for that, but I'll go ahead and donate that. And then a can of Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, a box of Jiffy corn muffin mix, a family size bag of Idahoan instant potatoes. You could choose your different flavors. So I just chose the regular and then a bag of frozen vegetables. So I chose the green beans so that, I mean, I, I, you were already getting the cream of mushroom and fried onions. That way somebody could do a um, green bean casserole and then a McCormick gravy mix. So as you can see here, this would be, you know, a full Thanksgiving dinner. You've got your turkey, your gravy, your cranberry sauce, green bean casserole or a vegetable, mashed potato stuffing and a drink. So really cool. All right. So like I said, I got $25 and 93 back, 93 cents back for all this. And it was fast. I picked up my groceries at 1030 and by 1038, I bought, I had already credited my account. So that was really cool. All right, let me show you the rest of the items that I got. I got a bag of fried onions. We're running low on that. I got some of this Lipton onion mushroom soup mix. I've never tried the onion mushroom, but I'm uh, gonna use that in a recipe. I'm running low on thyme leaves, so I went ahead and grabbed that. An onion, some tomatoes, lemon, lime, a cucumber, some baby carrots, a couple bananas, green onions, some zucchini, then I got some split peas to make split pea soup. I got a small package of buttermilk cornbread mix. 
I got some medium sized tortillas and some large sized tortillas. I'm just running low on these in the pantry, so I went ahead and grabbed them. I got a can of cream of chicken and mushroom soup. I recently discovered this and I really like that. I noticed in my pantry that I've got a lot of cream of chicken soups, but I didn't have any cream of mushroom. So I got four cans of cream of mushroom soup. I went ahead and got a can of cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. I got two cans of beef consomme. I need one for a recipe and I got one just to keep on hand. And then I got two of these four packs of tuna. Again, in my pantry, I realized that I didn't have any tuna. So I grabbed that. I got some green leaf lettuce. I got some grapes. I got several things of frozen vegetables. So I got two bags of frozen spinach, a bag of peas, a bag of mixed vegetables, two bags of sweet potatoes. And I think that's all that. I went ahead and got some turkey oven bags. I use these to roast the turkey. I got some Rodex septic treatment. I got this little to-go thing of Q-tips. I like keeping this at my vanity um, so that when I'm doing my makeup, like if I get mascara or, you know, something I can uh, clean that up. Got a block of cream cheese. I got some chicken tenders for a recipe. A package of chicken breasts for a recipe. I got some milk, half and half, some cinnamon rolls. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start getting stocked up on drinks for the upcoming holidays. So I got some mini Coca-Colas, some mini ginger ales. This is just the great value. And then some mini root beers. And then I got a dozen eggs. All right, that's everything that I got from Walmart. Let me show you what I got from Aldi. All right, here's what I got from Aldi. I went in there to get some stuff for a charcuterie board that I wanna make and I grabbed a few other items. I spent $42.93. So first they had this ham steak. Um, I made a ham steak last week for dinner and it was delicious. And this was honestly the only one that they had. The freezer, they were all cleared out. So I grabbed this, this was $3.24, so 24 cents. So I'll put that in our freezer and it'll make a dinner one night for us. I ordered strawberries from Walmart, but they were out of stock and didn't substitute it, so I grabbed them at Aldi. I've been trying to get these veggie chips at Walmart for the past couple weeks, and they haven't had them. They've had the straws, but I've wanted the chips, so I grabbed those. And then I grabbed the sweet potato casserole. I mentioned this last year, so this sweet potato casserole is delicious. It is so good. In fact, for the past maybe four or five years, this is what we've used for our sweet potato casserole at Thanksgiving. It is so good. I will say though, it is a little expensive. As you can see, this box is not very big and it's $4 and something. Um, but all you have to do is take this out and put it in the oven. That's it. And like I said, it's so good. And it only comes out at this time of the year. My mom grabbed two the other day for us for our Thanksgiving. And I grabbed this for my husband and I for a side dish um, for dinner one night. So I'll get that in the freezer. And then I grabbed this six cracker assortment for our charcuterie board. I walked by and this was on sale for a dollar off. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I'll just put that in the freezer. Um, this was an impulse buy. Uh, while I was looking at the charcuterie stuff, I saw these, they look good. I don't believe we tried them before, but I think tomorrow night for dinner, making ground beef and rock broccoli. I cannot talk today. Ground beef and broccoli, which I saw on Taylor Elmore's channel. I'll link her channel in the description box below. So when I saw these, I thought, oh my gosh, that'd be good to go with our ground beef and broccoli. So we'll give those a try. I've mentioned this before on my channel several times, but this deli selection of meat is so yummy. And Aldi is a great place to go if you're wanting charcuterie stuff or meats and um, gourmet cheeses. They have a huge selection and they are a really, really good price. So keep that in mind during this upcoming holiday season. If you're wanting to, you know, make something that kind of looks fancy for a get together, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. If you have an Aldi near you, definitely check them out. I got this little anti-pasty thing for our charcuterie board. My husband loves this. It's got olives, provolone cheese cubes, mushrooms, and red peppers. I wanted to get some cheese for our charcuterie board, so I just chose this mild Irish cheddar cheese, so we'll give that a try. I know I've mentioned this several times, but their honey goat cheese is delicious. I've tried honey goat cheese from a couple other different stores and different brands, and this is my favorite. It's so good, and they have all different kinds of um, 
flavors. And I did see today where for the season they had like eggnog and pumpkin or something. So like I said, they have really cool cheeses and stuff like that. All right, I've never seen these before. These are little five ounce cans of evaporated milk. If I've seen them, I've never really paid attention, but I picked a couple up because if you're new to my channel, it's just my husband and I. And so I half recipes a lot of times, and it's kind of annoying when I half a recipe and I have like a full can of evaporated milk because then I'm like, okay, what do I do with the other half? So I was really excited to see these little five ounce cans. So grab that. Got some cocktail sauce just to keep in the pantry. They had these in their like seasonal section, so I grabbed them for Mr. Happy. If you're new to my channel, he is our Yorkie Shih Tzu mix. I got that for him. My husband loves three bean salad. Um, I make it for Thanksgiving for him. Um, his grandmother used to make it, so grab this can of three bean salad to make that for Thanksgiving. Got a bottle of soy sauce, some steak sauce. My husband used the rest of the A1 last night. Um, so I just grabbed this while I was there. I don't think he's had the Aldi version before, but it was only 99 cents. So for that price, I, you know, you can't beat it. So he'll try that. I'm sure it's delicious. And then I got some chili sauce to keep on hand again, just for, um, you know, quick appetizer or something like that. All right. That's what I got at Aldi. Let me show you our meal plan. For the meal plan, there are a couple items that are carryovers from last week. So first up, Monday night, we are doing chicken fried steak. These are just the Tyson frozen fried steaks. I'll cook those up either in the air fryer or the oven. Then the next night, we're doing ground beef and broccoli. This is, as I mentioned, from Taylor Elmore. I'll have that link down below. Wednesday, we're trying a new recipe for beef tips. This is from Managing the Maze. On Thursday, I'm making brown sugar chili chicken. I made this a few months ago, and this is so good. It's delicious, and it's super easy. It is from Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life. On Friday, we'll eat out. My youngest sister and my little brother are going to be spending Thursday through Sunday with us. My mom and dad are going out of town. So I'll ask them if they want to go out to eat or order pizza or Chinese. And so depending on what they want, we'll do that Friday night. Then on Saturday, I'm making a bacon ranch chicken pasta. This is a new recipe. I believe it's from the Cozy Cook, um, but it just looks super yummy. So we'll do that and probably a salad. And then finally on Sunday, I'll make split pea soup. It's been a while since I've made this, and then we'll probably have like rolls and a salad or something with that. All right, that is our meal plan. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.